past year, everything that's happened in, in politics. What is your sense of the future of the Republican Party? You know, I, I had, um, I think we need to remember as a party, and I've been saying this in some of my speeches lately, that it's the people that make the difference. And, and I think sometimes we're looking for political solutions to some of the problems that we have in America. And we, we need to remember once again that it's the people that can make the biggest difference. And it's at the local level, people that are doing things uh, you know, for their neighbors, that, that are doing things for their communities. There's a lot of really good people in Idaho that are making huge, vast differences. And, and I think it's sad that we, we live in a, in a time that we think that all solutions need to come out of Washington, D.C., or even the Capitol here in, in Boise. I was listening to, um, to uh, the founder of ESPN, what's his name? Scott Rasmussen. Scott Rasmussen. And, um, and, and he gave a great speech about this, that, that the solutions to the problems that our nation has today are going to be found by the people. They have been found by the people in the past, and they will continue to be found by the people in the future. And, and we need to look less at government. And, and that's why there's so much division. When you look at government, you see all this division, all these things. But people are actually working together and, and, and looking for a brighter future and finding local solutions that, that are empowering individuals. Those, that's what we should be working for. And, and stop looking so much to so many solutions back in D.C. I think it's sad that everybody thinks that a problem cannot be solved if Washington doesn't speak on it. But your party is seemingly at an impasse, uh, divided by some of the candidates. So I think, I think that happens in every uh, election cycle. And in fact, I think it happened this year, ironically, because of the strength of our candidates. We. In my opinion, we had one of the best groups of people running. I mean, some of the most talented people that that I've ever run for office. In fact, I, I remember when they first were all on the, you know, on the stage. I thought, oh, I can see a future Secretary of State. I can see a future Secretary of the Treasury. I can see even if they don't win, uh, they they can have a, a huge role in in the government. I can even some of them. I thought you know maybe that's a future majority leader in the Senate. You know people that could be making a difference. Um, and and I still think that we have some strong candidates. I, I think it's become pretty divisive. Uh, but I think primaries are always always divisive, and hopefully the party will come back. Thank you.